you're about to do your SAT and you're freaking out about the math, let's see if we can help. So there's always a math way and then a trick way to do any SAT problem. Uh, first, remember that the questions go from easy to hard, although they do reset when they get to the grid in questions. But when you're looking at problem number one, um, this isn't going to be that hard. This looks like pre-algebra or something. So you're just going to combine like terms and move some things around to get the answer. Point is, you probably don't need a trick on problem number one. You can probably just do the math. When you get to number 16 here though, oh my God, what is, is this a spider? No, this is just a combining functions question. You do have to find the place where the f of x goes up enough or down enough that it kind of cancels out where the g of x is. So you're just looking at where do these two points where are they the same distance from zero? So that would cancel each other out. So negative two looks like one, two. There are problems that get a little bit harder as you go. Word problems, remember that periods and commas mean that's the end of step one. Hold off, make sure you're good before you proceed to the next step. There are a certain amount of math concepts you might wanna review, but they're not testing calculus, they're not testing pre-calculus. There's not even that much algebra two on this test. It's mostly algebra one and uh, geometry and below. So relearn any concepts that you forgot. Um, one example of an advanced concept you'll need is like the circle formula might get asked one time on the test. Um, you'll probably get several systems of equations problems, so make sure you're cool on that. But as always, guys, there's also a trick way to do these problems. If you are looking at a problem like this one here, the scatter plot of y equals, oh God, I don't remember how to do this math at all. What the heck graph is this supposed to be? There are shortcuts that you can use. Uh, on this particular problem, if you're doing eliminating, um, a good general rule of thumb is that the uh, answer choice that looks not at all like any of the others is probably not the answer. Just try to find the ones that look the most like the others. Like notice how, um, oh, both A and B kind of have a curve to them, whereas this one is straight. So that makes me kind of not like D. And then, oh, but wait a minute, um, both this one and this one go down versus B goes up. So I don't really like that one either. So maybe I'll guess A, even though I have no idea how to do this problem. Um, A turns out to be the correct answer. You could also just you know, take this and spike it in your calculator. You get to use my favorite trick ever, which is just to make some numbers up for this. Um, how about C is one? And then D is a negative number. Okay, D can be negative two. Well, then just punt this in your calculator and what one does it look like? So there's always a math way. Refresh the math that you might have forgotten because you haven't done mean, median, and mode in six years, but learn these tricks as well. Make up numbers if you see variables. If you can steal the numbers from someplace in the graph, um, chunk those back in and you know simplify things. That's a little bit like what your math teacher would say, but always look for opportunities to cancel or change things into more friendly forms or you know use your calculator if you can. Remember, please, 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 please guess on every single question on the SAT, regardless of whether you know how to do it or not. This doesn't mean you actually have to do every question unless you're going for an 800 and then just get everything right. Um, but you know, you need about 90% of the questions to get a 700. So probably try to do them all, but you could miss one or two, um, for a 600, you only need 75%. So you could definitely skip a couple, you could leave a few of the hard ones, try to get all the easy and medium ones, and then, uh, you know, go down fighting on those last couple hard ones, but always guess, always bubble something so that you at least have a chance to get it right. Practice review and notate. This test is the same every time. So if there's a geometry question that you didn't get, well, go learn that. Write that down, learn from it, and then repeat the thing the next time to make sure you can get the score you want. If you need help, there are math teachers and resources galore. If you don't know a concept, there's lots of YouTube videos where you can learn how to solve a system of equations. We are happy, of course, to help. We have uh, free practice tests. You can look on our website, pjtestprep.com, to see where Maybe uh, an upcoming practice test could help you get a shot at this, see how you're doing. We also have, of course, SAT, ACT classes, uh, as well as tutoring if you just want to learn some tricks to have a better shot at some of these hard ones. We are happy to help. But guys, the math, whether you're good at math or not, naturally, it's just a big puzzle game, and humans are great at learning how to do puzzles. So when you get one wrong, try to figure out what happened. If you can't on your own, get some help, and you're going to see the same problems over and over again. That is how the test works. That's how it's designed.
So keep this up, keep learning, and you'll be all right.